Are you still doing cold pulls manually? Have you ever had the cold pull fail, leaving pieces of cleaning filament stuck in the extruder? That changes today. We've developed an automatic cold pull routine called AutoPull. It takes care of the entire cold pull process for you, increasing success rate from about 50% to over 96 in our tests. And not only that, it speeds up the process from 20 minutes down to just 5. We're rolling it out now for the A1 series and we'd love to help in making it even better. Stick around because there's an exciting announcement at the end that you won't want to miss. Before we dive in, a quick word from our sponsor PCBWay. For those of you pushing beyond the limits of your own 3D printer, PCBWay offers quality PCB, CNC machining and 3D printing services to help take your project to the next level. With quick turnarounds, affordable pricing and excellent customer support, they're here to bring your ideas to life. Check them out at PCBWay.com. Now back to the topic. For 3D printing maintenance, a cold pull is essential. It's the most reliable way to keep the nozzle clean, clear clogs and prevent print failures. Normally, cleaning filament is extruded at a high temperature, then allowed to cool before being quickly pulled out. Ideally, this removes leftover filament, dust or other particles that could cause issues. But often it's a tricky process that can take up to 20 minutes per printer and doesn't always succeed on the first try. Miss the cooling window and you will have to repeat the whole process. In our print farm, cold pulls are part of monthly maintenance or happen anytime we change filament types. With over 25 printers, that process can take nearly half a day, time that could be better spent on more creative tasks. So we set out to create an automatic cold pull G-code that we could either send over the cloud to each printer or store locally on the SD card. That's how AutoPull was born. After extensive testing, varying temperatures, feed rates, fan speeds and more, we maximized both success rate and efficiency. These tests were extremely time consuming, but since a 3D printer operates with consistency, it's well worth in the long run. Let's go through how it works. Step 1. Unload the old filament either by using the menu or manually. Step 2. Insert a cleaning filament with a minimum length of 15 cm. Step 3. Start the autopole routine. From the SD card or through the cloud. It took us a while, but we found a way to send the G-code directly using Bamboo Studio. The printer will home and then center itself, heating up to 250 degrees. Now step 4 is lean back and watch how the magic happens. Or do something more productive than that. The printer pushes out the old filament with the cleaning filament, which should turn translucent. Once that's done, the hot end heating shuts off while cleaning filament continues to extrude ensuring a solid bond for the pulling process. Fans then cool the nozzle and extruder down quickly. In contrast to the typical Bamboo Lab wiki recommendation to cool down only to 100C, we found that cooling closer to ambient temperatures produces far better results. This allows the nylon to solidify firmly, which means it won't break off at the cold pull process. Now to the crucial part. At this point, the hot end will heat back up to 100C and once a threshold temperature is reached, the gears engage to pull out the filament, often resulting in a perfectly shaped cone with residual debris sticking to it. Repeat the process until the filament comes out clean. This solution has been a game changer for our farm and I'm confident it will make a difference for you too. We fine-tuned the process for the A1 and A1 Mini, but it's also adaptable as we continue testing with the P-Series and X1 Carbon. In our tests, AutoPull reached a success rate of 96%. But to make it even more reliable across different printers and cleaning filaments, we're looking for input from the community. Talking about community, here's the big announcement. We are launching a Patreon along with the exclusive Discord channel. The goal is to create valuable tools and automation solutions for the 3D printing community. But extensive testing takes time, especially on top of our regular workload. Through Patreon, we can provide these kind of tools and more to those who support our mission. The exclusive Discord allows us to consolidate feedback, troubleshoot together and improve tools like Autopol. What else can you expect on Patreon in the future? Resources like the ultimate pricing calculator, maintenance G-codes, Etsy tutorials and more tools to help you start or optimize your 3D printing business. As the Patreon grows, the monthly subscription will increase to reflect the added value. But joining now gives you early bird pricing and access to in-depth Discord discussions. We're capping the number of memberships at 50 to keep it personal and community focused. So if you're interested, don't wait, join us and be among the first to try Autopole version 1. Currently, Autopole is fully released for the A1 and A1 Mini. For our Patreon members, we also have a better version available for the X1 Carbon and P-Series, so you can start testing it early. 
Until then, happy printing 3D Farmers and see you in Discord.